Centaur is currently one of the most underrated support heroes despite his incredible strength in that role. His kit offers crowd control, initiation and tankiness making him a valuable asset to his team. With his spells including the Hoofstomp and Ultimate, Centaur can control team fights and create space for his allies. Moreover, the Scepter upgrade grants him the Stampede ability which can be a game changer, which allows his team to engage or disengage with ease. Despite these advantages, Centaur is often overlooked as a support hero with players favoring the Mera support picks. Before we talk about the hero in detail, this is what my game history with Centaur support looks like. Centaur's strength lies in his versatility and ability to counter popular Mera heroes like Swain, Gyrocopter, Dawnbreaker, Morta, and Phantom Assassin. His ultimate ability Stampede serves a valuable tool to disengage fights, which is particularly effective against heroes heavily reliant on their ultimates such as Swan, Dawnbreaker and Morta. With Stampede, Centaur can reset the fight allowing his team to escape bad situations or reposition themselves defensively. Moreover, the ability can also be used aggressively when the situation calls for it, making Centaur a dynamic pick that can adapt to various scenarios. Previously, Centaur faced issues while trying to cast Hoofstorm, but now Centaur can use Hoofstorm while moving, which greatly enhances his ability to catch enemy heroes by surprise and initiate fights more effectively. His double edge has become a strong nuke in the laning phase making Centaur a lane winning support as it provides substantial damage output. Additionally, the spell return enables Centaur to farm easily in the late game which allows him to scale well into the late game and maintain relevance even as the match progresses. The weakness of Centaur is that initially Centaur has zero base armor. So it gets really hard for Centaur to lane against heroes that reduce armor but there is also a way to play against them. For the starting items, there are three variations. If you are laning against heroes that like to cast spells and deal physical damage as well, like Venge and Troll in this case, you can buy a set of Tangos, Blood Grenade as it provides HP and a chance to punish enemy. Any sort of healing is strong for laning stage, therefore Magic Stick is one of the best starting items to have in the lane if enemy has heroes that like to spam spells in lane. Ring of Protection to survive the physical attacks in lane since Centaur has zero base armor and a sentry to block the small camp. Centaur suffers against heroes that reduces armor in lane, so if you are in a lane where enemy has Venge and TA or Venge and PA with Blightstone, you can skip Magic Stick and buy 2 Ring of Protection to survive the physical damage. And after taking the bounty runes, you can call for a Magic Stick through Courier. There are gonna be lanes where you have no threat of negative armor or physical damage. In those lanes, you can skip Ring of Protection and get Fairy Fire and Branches whatever you like with a Magic Stick. Examples of such lane include Timber Saw and Invoker or Pugna and Brewmaster lane. You're gonna understand your laning stage items when you play a couple of games and understand how the hero works on support. As a centaur, you should always prioritize fighting for bounty runes with your team. Centaur has a good amount of HP at level 1 which allows him to tank the bounty rune fight and survive a little longer than enemy support who's gonna be coming to take the bounty rune. Centaur has AoE stun which allows him to set up for the bounty rune kills easily. Make sure to take stun at level 1 as it secures the lane later on. In the laning phase, Hoof Stomp is your key to winning the lane. Centaur's lane power spike hits at level 2 when he has both Hoof Stomp and Double Edge. It almost guarantees the kill for him if the enemy is out of position. To get to that point before the enemy does, you need to help your core secure creeps. If your core cannot secure range creep, you can do it by using Hoof Stomp. This will give you an advantage because not only you are securing range creep, but also damaging the enemy hero that's standing next to the creep to deny it. Other than that, Centaur has a decent attack damage. Use that to your advantage and trade attacks with enemy. In the laning phase, you should always keep using courier based on what your hero needs. If you're having mana issues, don't hesitate to use courier to get a mango. And if you have HP issues, get a salve. Centaur just needs utility items in lane to survive and pressure enemy heroes and a brown boot. As Loras is an important objective in the laning stage, Centaur is also strong in that aspect as it provides skill potential on Loras if enemy comes to trade it because of his high nuke damage and stun range. Centaur has a high base HP region which allows him to spam double edge in lane. Use it to your advantage and spam your spells in lane to keep the enemy's HP low. There's going to be a point in lane where enemy buys raindrops and thinks he is unkillable now. But don't be scared of it as Raindrop has a 7 second cooldown while Double Edge has a 3.5 second cooldown. So there is no way an enemy can trade with you and win a trade. The best thing about Centaur is that it can be played on position 3, 4 and 5 which makes him a great pick. The lanes Centaur struggle against are only high physical damage based heroes. Other than that, Centaur has a free lane. 
Now this is an example of what a free lane for centaur is. Enemy score is melee and the support doesn't reduce armor. This is an ideal kind of lane for centaur because there is no way enemy can out damage centaur in any way. At level 1 you can just trade attacks with the enemy and use your stun once to keep their HP low. But as soon as you get level 2 try to get kills because that's your power spike. Other than centaur no other hero deals this amount of damage at level 2 so people don't usually expect this damage output and end up dying. Centaur might have HP or mana issues depending upon how you play out the lane so just use your courier to get salve and mango accordingly and keep spamming double edge on enemy heroes to keep their HP low in lane. It is really hard to dodge centaur's stun because hoopstorm can be casted while walking which enables centaur to gank other lanes as well. After securing a free lane as mentioned earlier centaur has the potential to use gates and gank and enable your other lanes as well. This is kind of hard lane for Centaur as TA and Trent both do a lot of physical damage and level 1 of Meld reduces 5 armor. Since Centaur has 0 base armor, Centaur cannot afford to trade attacks after getting hit by Meld, which means it is hard for Centaur to trade attacks with TA. To cover up the armor reduction lanes, Centaur needs to get Ring of Protection to survive the lane and avoid getting hit by Meld. Now how do you avoid getting hit by Meld? Well just don't trade attacks with TA, punish Trent and when TA approaches to attack, just get back. And in case you are hit by melt, don't trade attacks because you will lose the trade. Just go back a little, wait for the armor reduction buff to be over. As I mentioned earlier, don't hesitate to use courier to get resources. I had mana issues in this lane and I called for a mango, which led to a kill. Not trading attacks with TA doesn't mean you give her a free lane. Wait for the opportunity and when TA is out of position, you can punish her. In the laning phase, your skill build should be getting Hoopstomp at level 1 followed by Double Edge at level 2. After that, it is up to you whether you wanna get more points in Double Edge or Hoopstomp. Getting more levels in Hoopstomp reduces the cooldown of the spell and increases the duration of the stun, while getting more points in Double Edge just increases the damage and everything else remains the same. I would suggest if you're playing this hero for the first time, take more levels into Hoopstomp as the cooldown of the stun matters a lot and after you're used to the hero, you can decide how you want to proceed with the skill build. I've tried both skill builds and I like to max my stun in hard lanes and double edge in easy lanes where I know I cannot die. After the laning stage you have 3 options depending upon the situation. If your carry wants to go into jungle you can farm gold and xp in the lane and get your blink. If your other lane needs help you can just use gates and pressure the other side lane. If your mid laner wants to leave mid to gank lanes you can take the mid lane and farm your blink. Communicate with your team and prioritize your blink. Since the map is so big, there is always some place to farm. Even if you are farming in any other lane while your team is fighting or getting ganked, you can always have your impact with Stampede. It can be used defensively to save your teammates or aggressively to run at enemies. After your blink dagger, you can follow your course, play around them and find kills on map. Centaur has a very high spell damage for early to mid game which allows him to roam around the map and find kills. What makes Centaur a great support hero is that it has lane winning potential and it can also work as a core in the late game. Supports like to position themselves behind cores. Centaur's stampede allows his team to run at the supports and start a team fight with a great advantage. Just before you complain about your team only hitting creeps and doing nothing else on map. Well in that case you can also make tranquil boots and farm lane or jungle whatever is available with double edge. In order to have the most ideal team fight, positioning matters the most on any hero. To achieve the ideal results you need to understand how and when to go in a fight. To make it easy for you, if you have nobody in your team to start the fight, for example if you have heroes like sniper or mortal carry which need someone to go in for them, in that case you can start the fight with your blink stun. But in a game where you have heroes that can walk into a fight and survive it like Earth Spirit or Omni Knight, an enemy has heroes that like to hide behind their cores like Shadow Shaman, Bane, in that case you should hold your blink and wait for the right time until you see those heroes. Press Tempeed and run at them with your team. This way you will be able to easily out impact their supports as a support. Just don't be too hasty in fights, sometimes you can just give the most impact by not showing on map. You can also bait out the enemy spell, use Tempeed to reposition and go in again when the enemy's major spells are on cooldown, examples of which can be Phoenix Egg and Morta's ultimate. Centaur's itemization varies from game to game. The first item that you want to have is Blink Dagger for sure as it enables Centaur to run down at enemy heroes on map. 
After Blink Dagger, I personally like to make 4 stuff because it allows Centaur to reset his position after blinking into enemy heroes to stun them. 4 stuff also helps teammates to get out of bad positions and Centaur doesn't even have mana problems after 4 stuff. After these two items, the rest of the items depend on game situation. For example, if enemy has a lot of magic damage and your team doesn't have a hero that builds pipe, you can make a pipe of insight. If the enemy team has a lot of physical damage core who is not making a BKB, then you can get a halberd. And in case you wanna protect some hero in your team who's getting caught and dying easily, you can get a scepter and save him in fights. Centaur scepter gives him a new spell, Workhorse. If you use it, you get the stampede effect on you based on the current level of stampede, but the duration of the card remains 8 seconds regardless of levels. When you use Workhorse, you get another spell Hitcherite. As the name suggests, you can toss an ally into the card. The ally that is tossed into the card cannot move independently, but they can still cast spells and attack normally, but they cannot be targeted, which means Bane cannot use Nightmare or Grip on the target that is in the card as both of them are point target spells. Hitch a right can be used to cancel Fiend's grip, save your teammates from physical damage, and it can also be used to get your teammates out of Void's Chrono. Centaur's shard adds low effect on double edge and gives Centaur bonus strength based on the number of heroes he hit with double edge. If you don't get it from Tormentor, you should just buy it. It allows Centaur to be tanky in fight and also increases the double edge damage per stack. For the talents, I skip the first talent on level 10 and go for the third spell which is Return, which allows me to farm items and keep scaling in game. Then on level 15, I get plus 15 strength as it gives me survivability in fights and on level 16, I get 20 movement speed as it allows me to walk on map faster. Level 20 Stampede cooldown to have global presence and on level 25 Hoop Storm duration. For neutral items, I like to pick up Tumblr's toy as it gives 150 mana as well as it helps Centaur use stun from a good distance. If I don't get Tumblr's toy in tier 1 token, my second priority is Trusty Shovel. Trusty Shovel is the best support tier 1 token as it drops Mango and Salve which support can utilize very well. And these are the items that works perfectly for Centaur. For tier 2 token, if the enemy has TA or Shaker which deals an insane amount of damage on their first hit, I like to get a Gossamer Cape. Otherwise, Dragon Scale is my go-to because it provides 5 armor. Centaur has less armor so it solves the armor issues for Centaur. If I don't have the option of these two items then I would like to get Bullwhip for mana and HP regen and benefit from its active ability that reduces enemy's speed when cast on them. Best tier 3 token the item that I like is Ogre Seal Torum. It helps Centaur in repositioning and also it is not affected by Nullifier. My second priority is Cloak of Flames. Tier 4 item either Trickster Cloak or Havoc Hammer wherever suits the game condition. I am pretty sure this hero is not going to get a nerf very soon. Till then spam Centaur and get your MMR. If you're interested in private coaching, you can join my Discord linked in description. Please make sure to subscribe and like the video. Do let me know if you have any feedback, otherwise have a nice day and good luck with your games.